$3.2 trillion to the GDP. That's crazy money. If you were our own economy, our own country, you would be the fifth largest economy in the world. And I'm talking about Latinos just in the USA. Right. Do you feel a little bit in that you've been able to kind of open the door a little bit? There, I don't know if you saw the New York Times today, yeah. everyone. Uh, John took it upon himself. Kind of a, a call to action that I think is pretty impressive. Um, on his own dollar, too. Uh, do you, can you take a little pride in, in I feel like you, you've been an activist the whole time. You've kind of been in the business. I don't know if there's some hope, right? I feel like your message has been galvanizing in that sense of, of we keep talking about it, seats at the table, right? Yes. No, I, I have seen improvements. I mean, they're not big enough and they're not bold enough. Right. They're, they're just not enough. They're just not enough until we have executives and our stories are being told. Uh, yeah, I see progress. I see things changing. You know, Last of Us with the Latin lead, uh, Wednesday with the Latin lead, that big hits. Uh, yes, Hamilton, the, the biggest hit Barbie's ever had is, is called Blind Casting, written by a Latino man with a Latino star and black stars. Um, yeah, there's, there's been progress, but um, just it's not executives enough. Executives are bringing John in, bringing your consultation fee, right? Like for a little more more ideas and more. Jane the Virgin is one that I Oh, yes, yes, yes. Enough. But I've yeah. been to a lot to Hollywood, and, it's, yeah. and uh, inclusivity is, is just for optics. It's not, it doesn't really happen. I mean, I, I was pitching a lot of amazing period stories. And they would tell me, we're not doing period stuff. And then I go and see like a thousand period shows. And then, you know, they tell me, uh, I'm pitching uh, feel good movies. They go, we're not doing feel good movies. And then I see a thousand. So it's like, they all, it's always like, you know, you're, you're being told one thing while they're doing something else just because they they're not doing Latino stories. They just, they just don't. And back in the day, they, the executives would tell me to my face what they were thinking. They would never do that now. But back then, when I was pitching stories, they would tell me, you know, Latinos don't want to see Latinos. They want to see white people on stage. I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> That's the weirdest thing I ever heard. Where did you get that? But, you know, and then they would tell me, we don't have to do Latino projects to get Latinos because we already have them. We already get their money. Oh, you hope. Yeah, we did one, right? Yeah. No, check, check mark. Mm -hmm. I did the thing. Uh, there was a, I was shocked. Uh, I had the privilege of speaking to Rita Moreno. And oh, I was I like, it. it's still shocking to me that the actors in West Side Story were painted. Yes. Uh, painted brown. But brown face has been around oh. forever. I mean, right. Touch of Evil, there's uh, uh, Charlton Heston painted brown, the black mustache, hair, hair dyed. Eli Wallach and all the uh, Western, you know, made those thinking badges. Right. Um, right. You know, the brown face. And they went out, I mean, Pacino playing. Uh, <laughs> You know, and then Star Face painted brown. You know, I'll say hello to my little friend. What's the difference of that between all the, all the old school brown face, you know? Right. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, I, I, I can't comment on that, right? Uh, I just keep hoping, right? That hopefully the reaction to something, right? You're, we're talking about something you created yourself, you put up yourself. Mm -hmm. Hopefully the reaction has been positive so far. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Powerful, powerful. Yeah, good. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Uh, we have over 700,000 subscribers already. Wow. And uh, when How we get some of the. So what? It's been a short, you only been Oh, yeah, yeah. Time, right? Right? Less than a, three weeks, three weeks, four oh, weeks. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Well, thank you for all of you. I mean, it's not just what we do for the possible. Yeah. Is there something like, not that you're looking back at your career all the time, but do you get recognized for one thing, or does it depend on where you are? No, what I'm recognized for? Yes. Well, it depends on what you. What your life is and what your tastes are and what your sexual preferences. It is fun. You know, yeah, so two home food is a big deal. You know, yeah, yeah, yeah. A lot of people come to me and go, you know, because of Chi Chi, I, was, I felt calm to come out to my parents and, and you know, I give them a hug. It's so beautiful that, that, that a movie and art can do that for people. And then, you know, if you're a hoodie, you love Empire, that yo, Empire would shit, man. I was like, <laughs> like, 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 like <laughs> I always wonder if you like surprise children if they ever just happen to hear you and 
Right, Adults do the kids, and then they want, and then they want me to talk to the kids. I go, it's not going to go well. <laughs> <laughs> this face with uh, Sid the sloth, it just for the kids, it's going to ruin it for them. But okay, they will do the question. Well, hi kids, and then I. <laughs> <laughs> I can watch my work if I'm working on it, but after that, like premieres and stuff, it's really difficult. Yeah, I see the good and the bad, and I start, you know, Monday quarterbacking myself. Yeah, but then after years go by, I, I can see like like I've been watching the opening of uh, Moulin Rouge. Cause it was, yeah, thank you. Because I sang the whole opening by myself, and I'm not a singer, so I couldn't listen to it back then. I was, I was like, Ugh. but now I go, oh my weird. The voice is really interesting. <laughs> I don't know if you've seen this, but like, a lot of people use your performance in Romeo and Juliet, yeah. especially wow. this one for Pride Month. I've seen a lot of people where you're seeing and you're like on your knees, like, oh, no. <laughs> and the, the meme is, this is when I knew I was gay. Yeah. <laughs> That's beautiful. Less fast learning. Less fast learning for, and you, of course, but. I'm oh, Bass learning is everything. I mean, yeah. he's so collaborative and just loves actors and, and, and loves to help you be the best you can be. And he made me study flamenco with a flamenco teacher here in LA. And then I, 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 I took the guns and I went home and I practiced with them for three months. I, I got black and blues because I kept dropping them on my feet. <laughs> but then I got real good at it. I didn't have a stuntman for that whole gasoline station. That was all I had. I learned how to do all those tricks by myself. Again, an incredible body of work. They're wrapping us with time. So sure. before we go, is there like parting words for the crowd? Is there you know something for the actors? It's like something you've acquired throughout your career that's been the most valuable thing. We're talking about inclusivity to keep going, to keep yeah. saying it out loud, to, to get those seats at the table. What's yeah, yeah, you know, I've been talking to a lot of Latin activists and Latin people and talking about our situation in America, the stitch, and that we as Latin people are just so happy to be anywhere all the time that sometimes that's our undoing. That we need to be more vocal and be louder and be more assertive to make the changes that we deserve. Because, you know, uh, not to harm all the, all, all, all the oppression, but Latin women are number one startup businesses in America, small business. And that's the driver of the American economy. But they're the least to get bank loans and the least, and less than 0.05% to get venture capital to take it to the next level. So uh, even though we face all these obstacles, Latin joy is our biggest gift and our superpower that we enjoy the hell out of anything and everything. Go we'll party and dance anywhere, anyhow. <laughs> and uh, that's something we, we I, I celebrate. And uh, I love that about Latin. And uh, that's our strength, and, and we gotta lean on that and still be vocal. Yeah, and we hope.